Hello. Good evening, everybody. Today, I am going to take class Indian Penal Code. And the chapter 9 of the IPC. Okay. It describes of false evidence and offences against public justice. So under the Indian Penal Code, offences relating to false evidence and offences against public justice are contained in Chapter 9. Okay. It related to proceeding in any court, the offences enumerated are number one, giving false evidence or fabricating evidence, false evidence section 191 to 193. Okay, so let's we are discuss one by one this chapter containing section 191 to 229 yeah. okay so the offense comprised in this chapter number one giving fabricating or using false evidence number two issuing or using false certificate number three making a false statement in a declaration and using it as true fourth causing disappearance of evidence of an offense number five intentional omission or intentional omission to give or giving false information respecting an offense Number six, destruction of a document. Number seven, false personation for purpose of a suit. Number eight, removal of or fraudulent claim to property to prevent its seizure. Number nine, suffering degree or making a false claim or obtaining a false degree. Number ten, false charge of an offense. Number 11, harboring offenders. Number 2, number 12, gift to screen offenders. Gift to screen offender. Number 13, public servant disobeying direction of law. Number 14, public servant framing incorrect record or report. Number 15, wrongful commitment. Number 16, intentional omission to apprehend or suffering escape of offenders number 17 resistance to lawful apprehension number 18 contempt of court number 9 personation of a juror or assessor okay these are all included in this chapters okay these are all offense comprised okay let's go we'll discuss about section 191 of the IPC 191 of IPC explain about giving false evidence so giving false evidence mean it clearly explain about section 191 who have a being legally bound by an oath or by an express provision of law to state the truth or being bound by law to make a declaration upon any subject makes any statement which is false and which he either knows or believes to be false or does not believe to be true is said to give false evidence okay this chapter i'll give you explanation 
as per the IPC, two explanation is here. Number one explanation, a statement is within the meaning of this section, whether it is made verbally or otherwise. Verbally means orally. Otherwise, if written form also. Okay. And explanation two, as per this section, a false statement as to the belief of the person attesting is within the meaning of this section and a person may be guilty of giving false evidence by stating that he believes a thing which he does not believe as well as by stating that he knows a thing which he does not know okay this is what saying section 191 of the IPC we will go to illustration two or three illustration is available we will discuss then it will be easy for reference okay illustration number one A in support of a just claim with B as against Z for 1000 rupees a okay a is a person a in support of just claim which b as against z for 1000 rupees falsely spheres on a trial that he heard z admit the admit the justice of b's claim a, a has given false evidence this is number one illustration clearly indicated okay and another illustration same thing a being bound by an oath oath means corroborated okay oath is taking oath promise okay a being bound by an oath to state the truth states that he believes a certain signature to be the handwriting of Z when he does not believe it to be the handwriting of Z here A states that which he knows to be false and therefore gives false evidence okay this is another category and another illustration it is very clearly a is a person a knowing the general character of z and writing state that he believes a certain signature to the handwriting of z a in good faith believing it to be so here a statement is merely as to his belief and is true as to his belief and therefore although the signature may not be the handwriting of Z, A has not given false evidence. Now it clear? Above 1 and 2 illustration comparing this one. Okay. This is different. Okay. And another one. A an interpreter. Interpreter means translator or translator gives or certifies a true interpretation or translation of a statement or document. Statement or document which he is bound by oath to interpret or translate truly that which is not and which he does not believe to be true interpretation or translation A has given false evidence now it's clear okay what are the ingredients we need section 191 of the IPC so the offense under this section involves three ingredients available Okay, number one, a person must be legally bound. 
that is under section under subclass a by an oath or any express provision of law to state the truth or b to make a declaration upon any subject okay that is section 191 clearly explain the para number 1 to para number 1 and second he must make a false statement okay and third he must knows or believe it to be false or not believe it to be true that's all so three ingredients is there okay what will happen we'll see one by one so number one as per the section 191 legally bound by an oath or by an express provision of law and etc okay what is that here clearly indicated nobody should be permitted to indulge in immoral acts like perjury prevarication and motivated falsehoods in the judicial proceedings and if someone does so it must be dealt with appropriately in case the recourse to a false plea is taken within an obliquy motive it would it would definitely hinder hamper or impede the flow of justice and prevent the courts from performing their legal duties okay that is number one point number second point the courts have to follow the procedures strictly and cannot allow a witness to escape the legal action for giving false evidence before the court on mere explanation that he had given it under the pressure of the police or her some other reason whenever the witness speaks falsehood in the court and it is proved satisfactorily the court should take a serious action against such witnesses it is necessary that the accused should be legally bound by an oath before a competent authority if the court has no authority to administer an oath the proceedings will be quorum c o r a m quorum n o n non judicia j u d i c e judici and the prosecution for false evidence will not stand okay and the next point similarly if the court is acting beyond beyond its jurisdiction it will not be sustained and next point for the essentiality of section 191 the petitioner must have been legally bound to speak truth or make a declaration and he must have stated or declared what is false he must also know or believe what he has stated okay and or declared false or he has believed it true if there is no compulsion to make any declaration as required by law section 191 will not have any application the information given by him is not on any oath nor he was bound to give such information under any provision of any provision of law okay this is legally bound by an oath these are all explanation okay and what is the meaning of by an oath here an oath or solemn affirmation is not a sign co or non in the offense of giving false evidence the offense may be committed although the person giving evidence has been either sworn or affirmed okay 
whenever in a court of law person binds himself on oath to state the truth he is bound to state the truth and he cannot be heard to say that he should not have gone into the witness box or should not have made an affidavit it is no defense to say that he was not bound to enter the witness box okay and another point of the section 91 explained by an express provision of law okay by an expressed express provision of law or 91 indicator under this class sanction of an oath is not necessary there must be a specific provision of law compelling a person to state the truth where the accused is not bound by an express provision of law to state the truth he cannot be charged with giving false evidence okay and another point declaration upon any subject okay declaration upon any subject will read one by one line section 191 say saying that okay declaration upon any subject in certain cases the law requires a declaration from a person of verification in a pleading pleading means in civil procedure court civil cases anyone of the client to file the pleadings not only pleading both written statement and plaint both is called name is pleadings okay and if such a declaration is made falsely it will come under this class the words any subject denote that the declaration must be in connection with a subject regarding which it was to be made and last the same section 191 indicated that any statement which is false any statement which is false you can read it that section 191 clearly so last line is mentioned here any statement which is a false that means it is not necessary that the false evidence should be material to the case in which it is given if the statement made is designately false the accused is liable whether the statement had a material bearing or not upon the matter under inquiry before the court okay and third point knows or believes to be false or does not believe to be true okay knows or believes to be false or does not believe to be true this is third ingredients of the section 191 okay we already seen in this video first one is a person must be legally bound second one he must make a false statement third one is knows or believes to be false or does not believe to be true the final ingredients of the section 191 says the matter sworn to must be either false in fact or if true the accused must not have known it to be so the making of a false statement without knowledge as to whether the subject matter of the statement is false or not is legally the giving of false evidence where a man swears to a particular fact without knowing at the time whether the fact be true or false it is as much perjury as if he knew the fact to be false and equally indicatable however a man cannot be convicted of perjury for having acted rashly for having failed to make reasonable inquiry with regard to the facts alleged by him to be true okay so this is what section 191 ingredients explained okay I think now it's clear 
go to what is the meaning of uh, affidavit i just wanted to explain regarding this because 191 explain affidavit and these are all a new terminology in what is the meaning of affidavit an affidavit is evidence within the meaning of section 191 of the indian penal code it was alleged about an affidavit filed in a court that it contained false statements the affidavit was filed by the party su moto or not under direction from the court such an affidavit could not be termed as evidence okay because hence no action could be taken against him under the indian penal code process server while he takes information from the neighbors is not expected to get sworn statement from them it is neither an affidavit nor a sworn statement it is only an information which he has collected to show his bona fides that he made attempts to serve the notice on the party if on the request of process server if any such information is given that information cannot be treated as false evidence or fabricating evidence nor it could be treated as certificate nor a declaration under any provision of in this section okay now it's clear so this one 90 one ingredient is that's all we'll go to next uh, and 191 saying the same class what is the punishment area okay what is the punishment area of 191 before going to discuss that 193 topic 193 section i'll give you some clue section 191 section 192 and section 199 dis distinguished the distinguished among section 191 192 and 199 of the code has been very well pointed out by the supreme court in the main cases okay the matter has to be considered from three standpoints thus the swearing of the false affidavits amount to an offense under section 199 indian penal code under either ipc 191 or 192 if it comes under the two later sections the present prosecution cannot be sustained okay section 199 deals with the declaration and does not state that the declaration must be on oath the only condition necessary is that declaration must be capable of being used as evidence and which any court of justice or any public servant or other person is bound or authorized by law to receive as evidence so section 191 deals with evidence and oath and section 193 with of ipc fabricating false evidence if we consider this matter from the standpoint of section 191 ipc the offense is constituted by swear swearingly false when one is born by declaration made under an oath the definition of offense of giving false evidence thus applies to the affidavits so the offense may also fall within the section 192 it lays down inter alia that a person is said to fabricate false evidence if he makes a document containing a false statement intending that such false statement may appear in evidence in a judicial proceeding and so appearing in evidence may cause any person who in such proceeding is to form an opinion upon the evidence to entertain an erroneous opinion touching any point material to the results or results of such proceeding so the giving false evidence the main case was occurred sp kogli versus high court of punjab and ariana so it was held that whoever intentionally make a false statement 
even after being legally bound to speak the truth, he shall be liable to be punished under the provision of this section. So clearly indicated Punjab and Ariana High Court. Okay. So this is what saying about how the ingredients was applied section 191. Okay. We will go to next class and discuss with next section sweetly. Okay. I am closing this session. Okay. All of you. Bye. Take care. All the best.